Hi guys, in previous video we have discussed some basic tools of Lunacy software. In this video we are going to discuss some more options. So let's start with the objects. The objects panel is the same as that of the layers panel in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. Like I am going to draw an object. You can see that I got here mm, the option of rectangle. You can lock it and unlock it and hide it and unhide it from here. If I draw some more objects, so these are consecutively adding one by one here, like that of the Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. Next one is the symbols panel, which is we have already which we have already discussed. Mm. in the previous video you can check out that video to understand this layer style is simple whenever you draw an object so you can edit its styles also from here is the same options present here in the on the right side of the window next we have the icons panel which is also similar and discussed already in the previous video you can add any type of image you want any icon you want so it's simple and easy next one is the photos panel mm, Lunage offer you many photos which are already installed and downloaded here you can select any one of them and place it on your artboard and use it and resize it according to your requirement you can also add your own photos from the image too and here's the illustration panel which you can see offers a lot of illustrations and you can easily select any one of them and use them in your design now it's one of the interesting option of lunacy is the ui kits panel it offers you specific elements mm, related to the device for example you can see here the apple ios so when you click on this option you get all the buttons and templates and mm, the views of the apple ios software similarly with the google which, is, which are mostly used in the android phones and you can discover and explore more and more in these next one is the plugins panel where you can select and download different plugins and use them on your design it depend upon your design that what type of design you are creating and um, whether you are designing a website or designing a mobile application so you can go with any one of them depending upon your design here are a couple of options on the top of the screen whenever we draw an object here you can see it's the edit object the text and the boolean we are going to discuss it one by one first of all is the edit object options clicking on this tool you can see on the right side of the window we get a couple of options here which is easy to understand you can just edit it like that of the direct selection tool you can select a curve or a straight line so you can explore it more and more by using this software next one is the text tool which is easy to understand you know you click on this so you can type inside the object whether it is a rectangle square triangle or circle now we have the boolean operation tool which is I think an interesting and works similar to the pathfinder tool which we have in the illustrator here you can set the union when you click so it become one object if I use the subtract so the above object is subtracted from the below one Similarly, it's intersect, so we get the shape 
which are overlapped with each other. And the last one is the difference. Using this, we can get the difference. The overlapped area is subtracted from the objects. So here was the Boolean operation tool. You can also call it Pathfinder in Arrow Illustrator. Now here is the symbol tool which is same as the symbol tool here and discussed earlier in the previous video. The scale is easy to understand increasing the scale. You can change its shape, size and dimensions. Now it is a flip horizontally and vertically tool. I am going to draw a triangle, rotate it a little bit and now using the flip horizontally tool. So I directly flip the object horizontally. Next one is a vertically. It flips the object vertically. So these are the basic options which you can use to create an interesting design in your mobile application or website.